right, this is kind of a special one. New Kawasaki H2 supercharged. We've ridden a couple supercharged bikes before, but none with this much power. Some of them close to 190 to 200 at the rear wheel. So we're here at California Speedway, Auto Club Speedway. Got a long straightaway out front. I think there's gonna be some big numbers showing on the uh, speedometer here. I'll let you know how it's like after the first session. session on the H2, I am exhausted. That thing is super naturally fast. When uh, you're on the banking, most spikes, they just slowly start tapering off uh, acceleration as the gears climb. This one just keeps on piling on more speed. It just doesn't even seem real. Fantastic. So here's the item that makes Kawasaki's H2 something special. This is a, an impeller that spins to somewhere around 160,000 RPM when the the engine is spinning at about 14,000 RPM. This rams in air, pressurizes air, and forces it into the intake. Add some uh, the pressurized air, you got more air, put some more gas in, you get bigger power. So this is very cool, machine on a five axis mill machine that's got uh, incredible detailed curves on this. But here's the housing that goes behind the cylinder block. And on this side is the shaft, and there's a step-up planetary gear set in here. So if you turn the shaft, you just turn it slowly, and you can see how much quicker the impeller spins around. And this is what pressurizes the air, rams it into the aluminum intake air box, and uh, gives you somewhere close to maybe 200 horsepower of the rear wheel, 190 something anyway. So this is what changes uh, a, a normal leader bike into something that's kind of a bit supernatural. Out on the uh, front straight, accelerating past 160 miles an hour, the thing is still piling on speed. It's, it's almost terrifying. Uh, but there was no issues out there, trash control helped. Uh, but this is what makes the H2 special. There's nothing else quite like this in motorcycling. day Kawasaki H2 supercharged there's so much power here coming down the front straightway here at Auto Club Speedway I saw I don't know 176 or something like that it's incredible when you're accelerating past 150 miles an hour most bikes are just like slowly getting there this thing just keeps piling it on it's really incredible not quite built for a racetrack because this weighs more than a ZX10R Kawasaki ZX10R but it does acquit itself quite well around a racetrack. It has all the goods you need, it's just the extra weight is the thing that holds it back. Uh, both in steering, it doesn't steer as quick as the ZX-10, and also under braking, there's more weight to slow down. So even though we got these Brembo M50 calipers, uh, it takes a little bit more time to, um, to slow the thing down, or maybe it's just because you're going 20 miles an hour faster than you were last time you were here on a leader bike. So the H2 is designed to show what Kawasaki can do. Kawasaki Heavy Industries is a big company, aerospace and everything. And so the, the supercharger, they said, hey, all these companies, please build us a supercharger to these specs. And all the companies said, no, that can't be done. So Kawasaki actually did it himself. That, that supercharger we showed you, pretty neat trick stuff. Technology, robotically welded frame, single side swing arm, first time for Kawasaki. Got the trickest Kayaba suspension that there is. Olin's steering damper up front, which I'm glad it has because this thing is always fighting a wheelie and uh, never had uh, any kind of stability issues. Uh, another cool technological feature is launch control. Well, I did a, did a launch here earlier and uh, this thing is going into the nines on the first run and uh, it'll do run low nines I think by the fifth run or so. I would hope someday I'll get a chance to prove that. So $25,000 for the H2. This is like nothing Kawasaki's built before, but 
for 25 grand, this is like nothing anybody's built before. This is a really special motorcycle. There's only limited production of them around. Second ordering period uh, just finished, so there's a lot of people who are interested in them, but it's always going to be an exclusive machine. And really, it doesn't matter how long you have this, this is going to be a collector's item and something special right through the next decade.